da da Yeah! Hey guys! What's up? Kamusta? So, we are now live! Again. We are now live. And this is the uh, PSC Live uh, Season 2, Episode 2. And we are going to unbox, benchmark, review the Zenfone 3. Zenfone 3. Na smartphone that will be available tomorrow so let's start the unboxing guys and this is uh, the device color blue siya pero this is a black sabi nila pero meron siyang reflective glow sa likod chrome sa likod pero may kita nyo reflective siya naalala nyo nasa harap yung chrome which is now nasa likod siya pero may kita nyo lang siya pa nag uh, minove nyo siyang ganyan so, so very nice so it's both uh Glass front and back, and ayan. Uh, user manual, ayan, you can see there. Pero we also have available is the earphone and the earbuds uh, spare. Sim ejector, woohoo! Sim ejector na malit. Ayan. So you can see here na <laughs> it's really elegant. Ayan, diba? So sobrang elegante talaga nitong phone na to. Wala ko masabi in terms of the build, it's really. A huge upgrade compared to the previous generation of Zenfone 2. It's a glass in front. It's a glass in the back. It's really gorgeous. So, no una ko siya nakita nung nilunch to, uh, based on the photo, uh, hindi ko siya appreciate actually. Nung, yung render, yung mga leak render and everything. Uh, kapag parang photo render lang siya, hindi mo appreciate. But once you have it personally, do you appreciate yung device and uh, talagang it's really elegant. The laser autofocus, dual tone LED flash, the fingerprint sensor here sa likod, and uh, the ASUS logo we have on the top is uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack, and we have noise cancellation dito. Uh, on the side, we have the SIM tray, which is a hybrid. May kita nyo na mayroong SIM 1 here, and then the SIM 2, and then the SD. So, nasa ilalim, which is USB type uh, C. And then we have the speaker grill. Ayan. Nasa ilalim din dito. May kita nyo yung speaker grill. Uh, isa lang siya. Nandito lang. And then mayroong noise cancellation ulit sa uh, ilalim. Uh, capacitive buttons. Uh, unfortunately, still doesn't have any backlit. So, itong fingerprint sensor. So, nakaregister na yung finger ko. And you will see when I tap, mabilis lang yung fingerprint sensor. So, walang animation. Which is nice. So, automatically, uh, bubukas ng kagad siya. This is idle. Temperature natin for the idle is 35, yan, 34, 32. Actually, yun dito. Uh, and, yun. So, yun yung temperature ko. So, maya-maya, uh, we'll do a uh, test ng gaming. And then, makita natin kung ilan yung tataas ng temperature. Snapdragon 625 display. Full HD. Pixel density na 403. Adreno 506 ang kanyang GPU. So, supported niya ang 5 GHz band. And may kita dito, when I'm downloading, sobrang bilis lang niya. Once you click it, automatic nag lumalabas ka agad yung, yung ginagawa nyo. And if I switch here, as you can see, dami, may mga nakabukas ako dyan. So I switch to IDA, and then click ko lang sensor. So ganun siya ka-snappy. Ganun siya kabilis. And talagang, Asus did a, did a great job sa UI niya. Available syempre, ang inyong hinahanap. Ang gyro.apk. <laughs> So, sensors, orientation, yan, proximity, si Jiro, si Jiro Manies, ayan po, si Jiro, the gyro, gyro, ayan. And then, magnetic sensor. Uh, RAM, 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 RAM. 4 gig, pero ang usable na RAM is 3, 3, uh, 3 gig, uh, 3.6 gig ang usable. Ayan. So, you can see here, there. Uh, this is already 64 gig. Na, uh, storage, pero meron na siyang internal storage na available na 52 gig. 10. So, we have 10 multi-touch. Yan. Unfortunately, this is OTG capable, pero wala kong USB Type-C na OTG na cable or USB na o, uh, USB Type-C. So, hindi ko test. So, now, we're going to first try the NBA 2K 16. Uh, this is on a high settings. Uh, detected you want in a game application last exited. Do you want to continue? Yes. Continue ko yung kanina. So, we're going to play siguro around 5 minutes. More than 5 minutes. 
Although, ang pinaka-accurate na benchmark is around 15 minutes. So, gagawin ko yon offline na lang. But, I'm going to post it sa forum, which is sa pinarescreencast.net slash forum. And you will see yung uh, mga nakuha ko na results on my 15 minutes benchmark. Anyway. So, yan. Makikita nga, this is high settings. Yan. Alright. So, you can see. High settings lahat yan. And now, we'll start the game. Uh, kanina, nag-result nag ako around 27 FPS. Then, that is on the high settings. And, uh, if you will see, uh, switch, still, still. Yan, nakita nyo? It's playable. And, I can play around, you know. Curry, Portree. Boom. Hindi pasok. Rebound. Uh, yeah, so hindi natin mag 5 minutes guys. So, I'm going to play here for 5 minutes. And makikita nyo na yung animation. Swabbing swabe. So we have a 30 FPS. So let's, let's try actually yung NBA na low settings. And let's see kung magsi 60 FPS yung laro natin. And hopefully mag siya more than 30. Okay. So let's start this. And let's switch to our game bench. Pass. 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 Dunk boy. Ayun na. Yeah. Ah, hindi na shoot. Foul. So, pabuti ko lang to siguro ng 2, 3 minutes, guys. Uh, this is 4K for the camera. Ayun, 3 minutes na tayo, guys. So, I'll stop the benchmark. And let's see the result. Okay. So, here. We have 34. Ayun, kita nyo. Hindi, nga, hindi siya talaga accurate for, for now. Pero, at least it's a huge improvement na, na from 30 naging 34. So, 19% for the CPU, 600 MB lang yung RAM. GPU, grabe 100% na gamit niya. So, let's see here. Ito yung tumaas yung frame rate. Ayan, makikita nyo. Uh, yan yung part ng game na nag 40 FPS or nag 50. Ayan. So, yun yung kaganda dito sa tool na to. Kasi nakikita, nakikita talaga lahat kung saan part yung may tamang FPS and uh, there okay so magkadikit yan so pakita ko lang muna sa camera yan magkadikit yung phone na gamit gamit ko this one uh, there so ito yung camera so may kita nyo na mas wide ang 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 camera ng Zen phone compared sa uh, Cherry Mobile. And, uh, makikita nyo rin dito na yung Zenfone, pagbalik natin ko sa kamay ko para hindi nalilito. Uh, yung Zenfone is mas accurate mag-focus. Right? So, yan. Nakikita nyo, hindi, hindi, hindi ako katap sa screen right now para hindi maano yung focus. Pero makikita nyo na yun ang problema sa M1. Ang bagal nyo mag-focus but you can see the quality Yan, mag, mag macro shot tayo ngayon. Para makita nyo. Which is, we're going to... Hindi ako nag-tap nyan. So, uh, yung mechanism ng autofocus na yan. And then, here, sa keyboard. Now, makita nyo, na yung black ng Zenfone is black. And the black ng Cherry Mobile is kind of grayish. Diba? So, hindi siya yung black na black. Uh, sa Zenfone, mas accurate yung color niya. Na color black. Uh, we'll try to check the color orange naman. Ngayon. So, let's have another item here. Na mas, na mas, uh, mas bright masyado yung cherry compared to sa Zenfone. So, this is all in auto. So, wala akong uh, binago dito. So, auto setting siya. And, uh, may kita nyo na okay yung ano niya, yung kuha niya when it comes to the photo. But, when it comes to the video, doon kayo magulat na Zenfone is not yet optimized for video. Even though may autofocus siya, uh, may kita nyo na may pagka grainy. Although, hindi ko mapiplayback yung video dito since uh, baka mag-stutter or hindi nyo rin ma-appreciate siya. Uh, uh, but yun. 
Alright? So, in terms of the color, mas okay si Zenfone 3 compared sa Cherry, which is, yun naman yung, uh, ano yan, for the color accuracy. So, here are the sample photos that I've taken from Zenfone 3. And, uh, may kita nyo, ito yung low light. Yan, yun yung macro shot. And, uh, low light, uh, still hindi pa rin ganun ka, hindi pa rin ganun ka manageable yung sa Zenfone. But, it's, it's a huge improvement compared to the uh, Zenfone 2. Ayan, may kita nyo na less yung green compared from the previous generation. Uh, yung pagkuha niya ng flare is hindi ganun ka sabog yung flare and uh, the laser autofocus even sa low light medyo uh, medyo nahihirapan siya pero compared to the M1 sobrang bagay ng M1 talaga autofocusing pero malaking turong pa rin yung autofocus or yung uh, sa, sa Zenfone 3 na autofocus feature niya yung laser autofocus so ito lahat to low light low light shot so unfortunately dahil maulan lately hindi ako nakakuha ng matinuti nung maaraw na shot or daylight shot but then uh, as what I've said uh, maganda yung kuha ng Zenfone 3 in terms of the camera and you can see here the slideshow uh, yan yung results ng photo para sa Zenfone and uh, yun uh, yes merong beautification ang Zenfone kasi as usual uh, yung yung camera ng Zenfone is the typical na Zenfone. So this is the Zen UI 3 3.0. So may kita nyo na malaki improvement kasi mas mas flat na yung icons and mas responsive siya and marshmallow na siya. But unfortunately meron pa rin mga bloated apps na hindi mo may uninstall. So meron meron mga na na uninstall pero meron pa rin mga built-in apps na talaga hindi mo matatanggal. So, yun lang yung disappointing sa sa ano nila, sa UI ng ng Zenfone. Kaya ayun. Please check the volume buttons if they are metal or plastic, sabi ni Ara. Ah, uh, the buttons are, it's metal. So, may kita nyo siya na merong chrome. Ayun. Hopefully mag auto focus. Hindi na, hindi nag auto focus yung camera ko ngayon ng ano. Uh, but yes, it's a metal. Kasi na, when, when I press it, may maaring na mararamdaman yun na may tactile feedback. Ayun. Kapag usually kasi pag plastic, ramdam mo kapag yun nag pagkiniskis mo yung daliri mo doon sa parang uh, chrome texture niya, di ba? Usually pag plastic hindi mo mararamdaman na parang may cringe, <laughs> may cringe na pakiramdam, di ba? So yun. Pag pag habang kinikiskis ko to, so parang na ano ko, ang tawag doon, uh, I forget the term, yung nangingilo, ayun, parang nangingilo ako, so yun, yun yung, yun yung feeling kapag, you know, so it means it's metal, ah, baba sa akin guys, it's only 49313, surprise, <laughs> uh, 49313, ah, uh, so, I'm not sure bakit ganun na kinalabasan, pero yan ang result sa akin. Walang labis, walang kulang. Although kasi mer meron ako mga naka-install na mga apps. So, ibig sabihin, uh, may mga ano ako sa background. Actually, may background. Yeah, may tumatakbo ako sa background kanina. And let's close that all again. Let's do another benchmark test kung tataas man siya. Uh, medyo matagal to. Pero since naka-close na, let's do a test again. Let's do a temperature. 37. Sa display lang to guys ha. 37, 35, and 35. So sa likod, iwasan ko mapindot ang device. 35, 34, 38. So may camera. 38. And 36. Yan. Yeah. Actually, hindi siya mainit. Uh, which is really surprising. Hindi siya mainit yung device. So far, wala pa ako nakita ang multi-window feature niya. Based on pagkakalikot ko nung, ano niya, nung, nung UI niya. Yon. Kita niyo, tumaas. 
62 guys 62 tumaas siya yep so 62 to 68 and uh, there so I'll do more benchmarking tests uh, pagkatapos ng stream and I'll post the results sa forum and yung M1 result na post ko na sa forum and I will have a table updated table na nandun na yung Zenfone 2 once I've finished the benchmarking na 15 minutes benchmark so yun nandito ngayon na test ko ngayon this is just the parang uh, average benchmark test na anong tawag dito yung typical typical benchmark lang okay so yeah for example this one itong splendid makikita nyo splendid hindi ko pwedeng uninstall pwede ko lang siya i-disable so yan yung mga hindi ko naman ginagamit yan so gusto kong tanggalin yan pero hindi mo natanggal so beauty plus beauty plus pwede yung uninstall since I think that's a third party app uh, but yun so you can see here the camera UI pakita ko sa inyo so may manual fo may manual feature pa rin siya manual mode that you can see from the previous generation ng Zenfone ayan you can change the white balance you can change the uh, uh, exposure, the ISO, the shutter count, shutter count tuloy, uh, shutter speed, I mean, and the autofocus. And uh, you can see na uh, ito yung mga feature niya. So, bago na siya. Hindi na siya yung itsura na maraming mga lalabas. Yan, nakita niya. So, auto, manual, HDR pro, beautification, super resolution, children, low light. QR code, night, depth of field, effect, selfie, GIF, panorama, miniature, smart, remove, smile, slow motion. Now, slow motion, I was expecting na talagang ala iPhone na slow motion siya. Yung tipong, it's, it, will, it will play na ano muna, na real time and then magsa slow motion siya. But it's not. So, disappointing yung slow motion niya kasi talagang hindi siya, hindi siya magagamit when you use the slow motion. It's not usable. Uh, pero it's a nice addition but then yeah, again parang it's, it's 10 fps so kala ko it will it will slow motion yung 120 fps pero hindi pala uh, we have here the settings for the camera uh, yeah, makikita nyo na camera resolution image fine touch uh, video quality naka full hd ako so parang switch kayo sa 4k yeah, makikita nyo na switchable siya video quality na babago niya sa performance or quality and my guide and everything there so yun so bag natin sa auto yan and that's for the camera pag kinabit niya sim uh, automatic madetect siya so hindi niya kailangan mag reboot compared to other smartphone na you need to reboot so screen balance mode lang may kita niya so pwede niya baguhin yung uh, color if you want to change the color of the display uh, so far, in terms of the feature ng, ng phone, walang ganong dadagdag. Zen motion, it's the typical one hand mode, je touch gesture, motion gesture, mga dati na yan. Uh, fingerprint lang talaga nadagdag. And kids mode, dati na rin yan. Easy mode, dati na rin yan. Uh, yun. So, fingerprint sensor niya mabilis. So, when I lock, yan, I'll tap, diba? Ito nyo. Lock, tap, mabilis siya mag-unlock. So, which is nice. Uh, talagang, kagatay nyo, ang dami, ng, ang dami ko ng finger smudge. Ayan. Diba? So, prong lang talaga siya. And, uh, you need to, you need to put a case with this one. Kasi, although hindi siya slippery, but then, yun lang. Talagang nakakatakot na once bumagsak to, for sure, magkakrak to. Kasi it's a glass, and this is a glass. So, yun yung mga kailangan yung i-take note when you're going to buy this. So, definitely, automatic, bumili kayo ng case. So, walang, walang kasamang case. So, uh, mag-aabang-abang muna kayo ng case na maging available. Ayan. Mas mabilis pa pala M1. Uh, I think it's not. Uh, siguro sa benchmark, yes. But in terms of uh, real-world experience, I can say Zenfone is still much fluid compared to the uh, M1. So, here you can see the M1. So, yeah, unlock ko parehas. Yeah, okay. Yeah, naka-register yung right hand ko sa Zenfone. Yeah, let's see. Uh, sana magpagsabay ko. There. 
So, alam mo, sabay lang sila pag nag-unlock. Uh, but in terms of the UI, yan, pag nagsiswitch ng app, nakikita nyo, yan, marami nakabukas sa M1, marami nakabukas dito. So, switching app. So, let's see here. So, pinaka, may kita natin dito yung loading time. So, let's have a quick comparison on loading time. I'll close all the apps. Yan. Uh, let's load Pokemon Go. So, sa'yo naman yung hindi ganun kabilis, ay hindi naman ganun ka-intensive. Alright? So, sabi natin yung load Pokemon Go, 3, 2, 1. Diba? Nakita nyo, unang, unang lumabas sa Zenfone. Boot up. Pero let's see, kung sino una. Una nag-load ang um, Cherry. Pero una, una nag, ano siya? Yan. So, mabilis si Cherry. So, bumukas na kagad. Si Zenfone nag-loading pa rin. Ayun. Diba? So, let's try. So, actually, you can see the difference of the display. Ayan. So, press ko yung sagad. Uh, sagad natin. Ayan. Para makita nyo. Yung difference ng display nila. Diba? So, 1-0 na. M1 na una. NBA 2K. 16. Although, hindi. Hindi optimized kasi sa M1 yan. Eh. Logi si M1. Uh, ah, Grand Theft. Ayan. Grand Theft Auto. San Andreas. 1, 2 Nauna sa M1 Nauna So Actually M1 is a good phone It's a good phone, maganda yung 4K camera niya If you will watch my uh, video yesterday 2 thumbs up sa akin ng M1 Yun lang talaga, battery life Ang pinaka problema niya so, Doon ako pinaka disappointed sa kanya and I wish Cherry Mobile will immediately do a patch update para maayos. So, nauna na naman. So, yeah. In terms of real world comparison. So, mauuna. Uh, nag na yung ano. <laughs> yung M1. ba? So, yeah, guys. You can see the comparison of the two. Walang labis, walang kulang. Uh, loading time ng browser. Hmm, dali, sabay yun ah. Pag mo sabay. One more. One, two. Ah, nauna si Zenfone. So, mas mabilis yung browser loading time ni, ano, ni Zenfone. Uh, I think that's about it for the Zenfone 3. So, if you still have any more question, guys, feel free to post it. And, yun. So, like what I've said yesterday, si M1 hindi optimized NBA 2K. 16. So, kung fan kayo ng NBA 2K16 na talagang yun, yun lang gusto nyo daro sa buhay nyo, <laughs> you definitely go for Zenfone 3. Kasi si Zenfone 3 is optimized, umabot siya ng 30 FPS. Alright? So, I think that's it for the uh, Zenfone 3 unboxing benchmark review. And I'll be posting more updates sa so forum. So, if you haven't joined the forum, please do join it. Pinotscreencast.net slash forum and yon. Anyway, so that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, uh, this is the Zenfone 3 unboxing review slash benchmark. And if you, if you still do have questions, feel free to post it sa forum. You know, screencast.net slash forum. And I'll be glad to give you feedback. And I'll be posting more updates there. And ano pa yung mga hindi ko na, na ano dito, na lagay. Alright? So, once again, I'm Arnold Vino from RadioScreencast.net. Thanks for watching and see you on the next live stream. See you on Monday, guys. Bye-bye. Our moment.